Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. Today I'm joined again by Lilium Lemme, which means we're going to talk about dedicated SQL pools. Previous time um, in our video, we talked about what dedicated SQL pools is, that it's an MPP system, not an SMP system. And today we're going to talk about distribution and why it is important. Now, first of all, um, remember the story we had, we talked about last time, where we talked about uh, a single car and uh, that you have to move a data from one point to another. You can load some data into that car. And if there's more data, you'll need to use a truck, but you can only scale to the biggest truck, basically the S SMP system. So you're limited to the actual physical hardware that you have there. Now, an MPP system is going to combine a lot of cars to get that data over from A to B. Now, um, the way we're going to actually divide that data across those cars, that is your distribution. That basically means we always want to make sure that we have the data distributed across those cars evenly, which means that car one has one, uh, one part of luggage, the second car as well, until the 60th car for dedicated SQL pools, and they can actually move that work together in one go. And not one car that has 20 uh, pieces of luggage and the other four for example, don't have any luggage and then another one has more luggage. That's something we want to avoid. And that's something you can do with your distribution strategy. And today we're going to talk very briefly about what distribution options do you have. Now, Lilian, can you say like, if we're going to use our dedicated SQL pool and we're going to start with distribution, what are the options we have and what do we need to talk about then? Yeah. So that that's was a very good example, Stan, and that shows how the complexity of DDW is, right? So we have three distributions, three, oh, sorry, we have three types of, uh, that we can apply the, the way that DDW will be distributed. Um, we have hash, replicated, and round robin, and I'll explain each one of them. So let's start with the one that I think it's easier. It's the round robin. So the round robin will, distributed the data. So once you define the round robins in your table, we will distribute the table as equally as possible against the 60 distributions. When we define the hash, we need to define a key because the data will be hashed against each of the 60 distribution in a deterministic way. And when we use replicated, we are replicating the whole table across the computed nodes. So those are the three types, three patterns that you can use to distribute your data inside of the SQL dedicated pools. Okay, cool. And what does that look like? Let me show you them. So this is the replicated. So here I have a table and replicated, as I mentioned, it replicates the data across all the computed nodes. A good usage for this would be dimension tables. It's not for every single table, it's in for very specific scenarios, and we are gonna cover this in, in a, another video. So, but here we have replicated. The other, uh, the other one that I mentioned was round robin. In round robin, we will distribute the data as equally as possible against all the six distributions. And as an example, and uh, sorry, I was showing the example, later. So, and then as an example, here we have the data distributed as equal as possible, right? You're going to see more or less the same amount of data against the 60 distributions. And then we have hash and hash is hashing the product key against the 60 distribution. So what I have, I have here different amount of data because now I'm, uh, the, the distribution is being deterministic. According to the value of the product key, it will be hashed to the same distribution. And a good case usage for a hash should be uh, fact tables or tables or when you require a lot of joins between tables. And round robin, which I didn't mention, a good usage would be staging tables. So staging tables is a good usage for round robin because it will load quite fast. But we're going to dig more into this, those examples uh, later. Okay, awesome, William. So basically, to just to summarize, we've got three main types of distribution. 
replicate it basically means replicate across all those nodes and make sure that we can do that work on each card that we have so we basically want to make sure that if we do a join between two tables like we can handle it locally very uh, a lot more about on that later when we're going to deep dive into replicated tables but for now that's all you need to know now we've got round robin and robin basically means if we want to get data in our dedicated sql pool and we don't really care about how it looks like or yet uh, we don't want to think about a distribution or the key that we need to have round robin is just going to equally distribute that across all those nodes and it will be fast because there's no actual overhead on it because we're just pushing that data in a random way across all those nodes and you've seen in the, in the demo that it is equally distributed so every node almost has a, a, the same amount of, uh, of, of, of values um, and that also means like if we go back to the cars every car will have one truck and now we've got the hash distributed and hash distributed basically means that we are going to distribute that on a certain key we have which will imply a lot for the performance of your queries but we'll talk a bit more about that later but you saw that the distribution was not equally across all those nodes but we'll talk a bit more about what that implies and how we can solve those things in later videos um, also one key takeaway that William also mentioned that um, the dimension tables uh, of your of your data warehouse might be a good fit might be a good fit don't take it uh, take our word for granted because in the other video we'll talk about what the limitations are might be a good fit for replicated tables um, if you have any staging tables that'd be a good fit for round robin because it is easy to push that data in there and your larger tables your fact tables that are doing a lot of the work and has the most data we basically want to use those 60 cars to get to that solution and that's why and hash distribution is always a better choice for your fact tables uh, depending also on the amount of data but in most cases that that is the case if this was the first time you're visiting our channel uh, and you like the content uh, give us a thumbs up for the video or subscribe if you want to see more content on anything on the azure synapse analytics feed we've got loads of different videos coming in and not only the synapse espresso but other videos as well and if you have any questions about this video just type them in the comments uh, and we'll get back to you or if you want to see a different video or have a topic specifically handed of dedicated sql pools or serverless sql pools or spark just type it in here and we'll probably make a video out of it um, as always from the uh, Synapse Espresso team, thank you very much for watching and bye.